Uh, Richard, I know you're a huge Doctor Who fan. Uh, it's true enough, yes. But you're also a huge fan of uh, the late Sid James, I believe. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you're right. Yes, so who isn't? How would you feel about having Sid James and the Daleks on screen in the same scene? What? What? <laughs> hey? Is this a missing scene from the Daleks' master plan or something? All will be revealed as we proceed oh, with this ooh. slightly bizarre fab fact. Well, Richard, you have actually had your, your wish of Sid James and the Daleks. Thunderbirds has provided us with just that. Explain. Explain! Explain. <laughs> no, uh, okay. <laughs> In the episode, The Man from MI5, mm-hmm. Captain Blacker is gunned down aboard his yacht by a naughty bad guy named Carl. Right. Carl then proceeds to ransack Blacker's office looking for some secret documents. Okay. As he searches through a chest of drawers, we cut to a live-action insert shot of real human hands, as happened in Thunderbirds, looking yeah. through some real drawers. ooh uh. oh. Eh? Now, randomly, one of those drawers is absolutely crammed full of picnic gear, mm-hmm. but the other contains various documents. Right. The live-action hands rifle through them so fast that you can't really make out what's there unless you slow the footage down a bit. <laughs> if you slow that footage down, you will spot a map of Western Europe, some travel yes. brochures, including uh, what could be possibly a guide to some Italian castles. Okay. A magazine called Fabulous... Of course. And another magazine bearing the grinning face of Carry On star Sid James. Blacker also, bizarrely, has two issues of TV Century 21 oh, comic Jamie in that Lossie. draw, Beginning. issues 32 and 33. So the Daleks are seen in their comic strip on me? the back of issue 32. We also see the top of the front cover of issue 32 promoting a James Bond competition and the front of issue 33, which consists of a brief glimpse of a photo of Fab One and the words Stingray and Fireball XL5. Ah! So it's a bit tenuous, but bear with yeah. me. Possibly, okay. poss- oh, poss- possibly, possibly, possibly even more interesting than Sid James well, beating so. the Daleks, though. Yeah. If, yeah, yeah, if, yeah, yeah. if anything could possibly be more interesting than that is that the desk drawer also contains what appears to be a page from the script of the episode, The Man from MI5 itself. Oh. It's very difficult to be sure, but in HD, it is it is just about possible to make out the phrases sound scan equipment, paralyzer switch, tranquilizer switch, and compact, all of which are elements that come into play in the story. Okay. So if only Blacker had actually had the full script in his possession, he might have known he was going to get shot. <laughs> That's very meta, isn't it? I like that. <laughs> a character discovering a copy of the script of the episode they're in. <laughs> and flicking through and seeing what's going to happen yeah, to Yeah, there's a great, a great story I in like there that. somewhere. Yeah. I mean, yeah, so it's, it's, a, it's yeah. a bit tenuous to say Sid James and the Daleks were on screen together, but they yes. technically were. Mm. All right. Yeah. You're not I mean, convinced? I've got a personal, I've got a personal, perhaps closer link to the worlds of Kip the Carry On films. Oh, go on then, go on then. Well, show us your, show us your I, cards. We got married. We had a, a ceremony at a, a registry office in mm. Maidenhead in Berkshire yeah. at Maidenhead Town Hall, mm. the building of which stood in for the exterior of the hospital in the Carry On films. Ah. You know, the famous scene of uh, Barbara Windsor tottering down the street outside the hospital and all that, and the yes, ambulances yes. parked outside. Yes, that's where we got married. See? Gosh, okay, well, that is almost as tenuous as the halfback itself. <laughs> <laughs> true two for one yeah yeah two half ones making up perhaps one full (laughs) fab fact